Hello everyone, Mark Hanchett, founder and CEO of Atlas Motor Vehicles. Last week on the 14th, our Reg A campaign ended. With that came a lot of questions that a lot of you had. So guess what? We're gonna do another uh, Q&A uh, session here. So I'm just gonna kick it right off. Uh, why should I be an early investor and how does it benefit me? So if you are an early investor, maybe you were part of our CF campaigns or Reg A campaigns, you have to think of that as you're participating at the earliest stages of a company's starting phases, right? So at the very earliest stages, when typically it's reserved for ultra wealthy individuals or wealthy individuals, accredited investors or institutions, they're typically the only ones that get to get in at those early stages. This is your opportunity as a customer, as a believer, as a follower, as someone who wants to see this happen, to participate in that and share in that success as Atlas continues to grow and we continue to be successful over the next several years. So as an early stage investor at Atlas Motor Vehicles, why is that important? One, it gives you the opportunity to become a part of the company at the very earliest of stages, share in the success of the company. It also gives you an opportunity to influence the company and where we go from here. We listen to our investors, we listen to our customers. You as an early stage investor, you have a voice, you have a say. We love to hear your feedback. If we're building the wrong product, be sure to let us know because we do listen. Let's see the next question here. Now that Reggae is closed, what is Atlas's next big goal? So our next big goal for Atlas Motor Vehicles is actually gonna be focused on uh, three different things. The first thing, the most important thing we're focused on right now is launching the AMV Cube Cell. What is the Cube Cell? That's the next generation AMV cell that's gonna start shipping here in Q4 2021. And we'll start putting that into battery pack products for customers that are already signing up today. We're having meetings on that uh, today, is, which currently represents about a 300 plus million dollar opportunity for 2022. So Atlas's current focus, a majority of our focus, not all of it, but a majority of our focus is on scaling battery cell production, getting that in through compliance testing, launching that into the market, start shipping that to customers in Q4 2021. And of course, moving into 2022, how do we capture that $300 million plus opportunity that Atlas has? On the XP platform and XT pickup truck side of things, Development is continuing in those efforts as we look to get the platform into a production ready state for launch next year. And on the XT pickup truck, we're finishing up the prototype over the next uh, 35 days or 30 days roughly. As we look to debut the completed interior, completed exterior, all those different features and things that we talked about and show that off over the next several weeks or months. So that's the current effort for Atlas Motor Vehicles. From a fundraising perspective, I can't share details on that yet, but Rest assured, all of that money that we raised for Reg A that's going directly into battery cells and pack solutions, scaling that for our marketable opportunities that are coming in 2022. And of course, we're continuing to grow the team. We're gonna double the team size as we look to launch the XT and the XP platform at the end of 2022. Let's see, what else do we have here? Why is generating revenue through batteries so important? I just want my XT. We all want the XT. The XT is the cool, sexy thing that we all wanna drive. That's what I started this company thinking about. That's what we're all excited about. But we also have to think about Atlas as a business, Atlas as an organization and what we represent. We're not just a vehicle company, we're an ecosystem solutions provider. We're a battery company as well. We've got an entire energy division that is devoted to leveraging the unique technology that Atlas has developed that allows us to charge a vehicle in 15 minutes in other market segments. We recognized very early on that while we developed a solution to solve a problem over here. That's a marketable opportunity. That is a successful business that we can launch in the next uh, six months. We can grow to a revenue positive, cash flow positive, or EBITDA positive next year in 2022. That's a very unique thing for anyone in this particular space. Atlas is not another Ford, another Rivian. We're not another Tesla. We have zero interest in being that kind of company. We're a technology company, we're a solutions provider. And the first solution that we're launching is the AMV cell, the cube cell that's coming in Q4 2021. And of course, battery pack solutions, then energy storage and charging ecosystems. That represents a marketable opportunity that we can generate revenue on, we can generate positive cash flow on over the next 18 months, which can help fund efforts in the XP platform and XT pickup truck. From Atlas's perspective, remember we have three pillars, energy, platform, trucks. First thing to go to market will be the energy group, then platform and trucks will follow shortly behind that towards the end of 2022. And we're very excited about that opportunity. Think from a business perspective, that means unlike others, they have to wait three, four, five years to be revenue positive. 
Atlas is going to be generating revenue, will be profitable in the next 18 months before we even launch a vehicle. Can you name a few strategic partnerships you have right now and explain why they are so important for Atlas? So our current strategic partnerships are focused on vehicle companies that have delivered that are delivering about 20,000 or less vehicles over the next several years, as well as a number of companies that are developing last mile delivery vehicles or unique sort of bespoke solutions in the market. I can't name all of those partnerships today, but over the next several months, we'll start bringing some of those to light. We'll start sharing some more details on that. Those partnerships in that particular aspect from the customer side, that's what represents that 300 plus million dollar opportunity for Atlas in 2022. On top of that, we're establishing partnerships on the supply chain side to build out battery cells and pack solutions as we look to launch that product line over the next several years. So while I can't share a tremendous amount of details of who those partners are today, we will start sharing that as some of those contracts become much more solid as we start to establish what the next steps are, some of those roadmaps, and you'll hear about that over the next several months in press releases and social media posts. Let's see, what's the next one here? Uh, can we please hear more about the charging infrastructure plan? Where are you with that? So Atlas, from a charging infrastructure standpoint, we recognize to charge a vehicle in 15 minutes, we actually have to build a technology solution to a problem that we've introduced. To charge a big pickup truck, we need about 1.5 megawatts of power. That doesn't currently exist in the market with a CCS network that's being deployed. So Atlas is actively looking to, or actively developing a 1.5 megawatt charging solution that we're looking to deploy over the next several years as we start to launch the XP platform and XT pickup truck. Our strategy around that is very simple. We're not looking for parking lots, we're not looking for malls, we're not looking at convenience stores or grocery store locations or even restaurants. That's really unique to the CCS network where time is something that you, you, you can spend there. What Atlas is looking for is highway corridors. We're looking for use cases. We're looking at the work market, long haul, highway corridors between cities. How do we bring value there? And how do we bring value for larger vehicles that are towing and hauling like the XT pickup truck or maybe box trucks, class seven, class eight vehicles, class six, class five. So Atlas's strategy is really, we're gonna focus on the Southwest then move up the West Coast as we deploy that over the next several years. And then we'll move along the South and then back up the East Coast. We call it the EV smile. That's where our primary focus is going to be. We're looking at developing and launching charging solutions in that particular market in those segments. Then we'll focus on central US after that. As we look to the future of this, we don't just think about the 1.5 megawatt charging solution dedicated to just Atlas vehicles, although we are gonna open that up for other vendors to accept or utilize. We also look at the CCS network. We're gonna build out these locations. How do we provide available charging solutions for everyone else that's in the market, the other EV companies that are launching products and solutions out there. That represents a revenue opportunity for Atlas, but it also means if we can pull the rest of the market ahead with us, if they're successful, we're successful. We want everyone to be successful in this space, and we're looking to leverage CCS as well as the megawatt charging solutions as we look to deploy those over the next several years. How does the roadmap for the XT look to get to production? That's an interesting question. So right now we're focused on the prototype, which contains several pieces of the technology as we look to test that, prove that out, and deploy that over the next several years. In terms of the roadmap for the XT production, first will be the prototype vehicle, then we'll move into production level design, then it goes through a validation, qualification, and compliance testing, and then we'll start delivering those trucks towards the end of 2022 to those early customers. And then after that, it's a ramp from production at that point. We're looking to do about 150 trucks towards the end of 2022. Those will go out to our early customers. Remember those early Reg CF customers that invested right in the beginning. They're right at the front of the line. They'll get those trucks at the end of 2022. We'll continue development, continuous improvements, quality improvements as we continue to ramp production from there. But from now to the end of 2022, it's gonna be getting it into a production ready state validating it, testing it, getting it out on the road, qualifying those different systems, performing all of the required compliance, crash testing, everything else that has to happen, and then getting those first trucks into customers' hands towards the end of 2022. So I wanna work at Atlas. What positions are you currently hiring for? That's a great question. So right now, we're currently focused on hiring technical positions. So hardware engineers, mechanical, software, firmware, as well as program managers. We've got a couple of senior executive level positions, some operations roles that are opening up over the next several months. But primarily we're focused on 
product development, technical engineering roles. If you don't fit within one of those categories though, that's okay. Be sure to check out our future roles position, submit your resume. We go through those every single week. We segment the ones where people where I think we can bring value down the road or maybe we know we have future roles. We sort of put you in a pipeline and as those roles uh, open up over the next several months or the next several years, we start pulling people from that pipeline. We'll start to contact you and those positions will open up. So if we don't have one for you today, that's okay. Submit your resume to that future role. We'll put you in that pipeline. And if there's a role that opens up for you, we'll contact you when that role opens up. Let's see what else we got in here. I think this is the last one. Can you tell us more about the safety systems of the truck? Like will the actual final steering wheel have an airbag? Of course the final steering wheel will have an airbag. Atlas, while we fall into a category that technically doesn't require very sophisticated safety systems, we're very much so focused on exceeding expectations. So side airbags, front crash airbags, um, as well as a number of other unique things, including an airbag in the steering wheel, passenger airbags, all of that stuff, full belt systems, we're thinking in terms of like say a class one vehicle or something that falls below 10,000 gross vehicle weight rating. We design for that worst case or technically best case scenario, even though technically we don't need to meet that given the gross vehicle weight rating that Atlas's XT will actually operate in. But we'll have full safety solutions in there, including some future features that'll incorporate some of the AI, self-driving technology, video camera systems, all the sensor suite systems. Because not only is it important that things are safe during an accident, but it's actually much more important that we prevent an accident. We don't want to put someone in that situation. And we've got a number of unique technology solutions that we'll start developing over the next several years and start rolling out as software and hardware updates to the vehicles that will be focused on continued improved safety for the vehicles to prevent accidents before they actually happen. And it looks like that's all the questions we have today. Remember, we couldn't do this without you. So if you were a Reg A investor, we appreciate that. We appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for investing in Atlas Motor Vehicles. And that's our Q&A session. Thank you.